This game contains scenes of explicit violence and gore. Yeah, we know all about that, don't we? Hello, everybody, and welcome to... Well, I'm not going to say the last episode of Resident Evil, because first of all, I don't know if we're going to finish the game in one episode. And this is by no means the last episode of Resident Evil with Mio X Fu. After all, we've still got Jill's story to deal with, don't we? And as far as that goes, I think I have come to a solution as to what I want to do. So, oh, by the way, I went ahead and made an extra little save, got through all that stuff with the the chimeras, I think, Rich the Gamer told me they're called. I don't know, it wasn't in the file, so. <laughs> it's like the jo that joke from Zim when they're watching the video on how to sell, sell candy. That answer wasn't in the video. Um, but, yeah, I... Thankfully, I, I saved a little on car insurance. Now, on um, Colt Python ammo, so we won't be hurting too badly for that with the final, the final fight. But, um, as far as Jill's story goes, I do want to do it at some point because I hear that there's a whole other character that we don't know about until then. Well, we know about because he's in the intro, but, I mean, we don't get to interact with him because he's not part of Chris's story, called Barry. Apparently, he's pretty cool, pretty funny. Instead of Chris being the funny, funny one, we got Barry, who's the funny one. Funny men, you know? Rebecca! You're safe. <laughs> Not for long. <laughs> I've caught up with you at last. Well, I'm glad you're all right. Don't go out alone. Stay yes, with sir. me. You'll get shot. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm I it really does tear me up that Rebecca gets shot cuz I mean, as much as I make fun of her, she's probably she, she's one of the best characters in the game, because it's just her innocence, it brings a smile to my face. She just, she just brightens up my day. <laughs> oh, and we get to... As my subordinate, you have wonderful talent. We get to go through this awesome cutscene again. a company like Umbrella, and Wesker, you were formerly with Umbrella. <laughs> what do you mean? Since when have you been an Umbrella agent? We're going to spell out everything for the player in case now they haven't wrong. noticed. I was formerly with Umbrella, yes. But now I'm prepared to face anything. Even getting rid of you vigilante stars. So doesn't that mean you're still with Umbrella? Now, the worst possible situation has occurred. <laughs> Just in case the you players weren't paying attention. A virus, a biological weapon, polluting the entire lab. No, the worst happened with a tyrant virus. I lost some of my star's team members because of it. <laughs> you killed them with your own hands. Did you kill Enrico? Really? <laughs> yeah. Like this. <laughs> oh, God. It's still terrible. Rebecca! You'll pay, Wesker. Don't Again. Move. If you do, I'll kill you. Chris, I have something to show you. Now, with this very square gun. <laughs> I'll kill you with this rectangle that conveniently sh shoots bullets. Anyway. I'll talk about Rebecca. Oh, I'll talk about Jill's story in a second after we're done with this cutscene. <laughs> Honestly, he looks more silly than scary. I mean, he looks like he's a clown with the exaggerated makeup around his lips. I mean, the heart on the outside's kind of neat, but that's not really something that would make me think is scary. Instead, I think, oh! Heart on the outside, just shoot this? that. That's right. This is the ultimate life form. Punch him and he gets Tyrant. a heart attack. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Wesker, you're I just love Wesker's this reaction, though. Savior? Chris, you 
Come on, Chris, what are you what are you doing? I'm I'm, I'm trying really hard here. Stop it. Stop laughing at me. You can make sure yourself whether Tyrant is a failure or not. And people are saying my laughter is infectious. Chris's laughter, that's infectious. I can't help but laugh along with the guy. Jeez. I mean, the water looks, or the liquid falling really does look good. It's just, it looks weird because it looks like an arch is falling over his head, not like the meniscus is dropping or stuff like that. Oh my god, he's naked. Oh wait, no, he's wearing a loincloth. Thank god. Oh wait, no, there's an ass. <laughs> he is naked. Your ultimate creation? He doesn't even have any reproductive parts. Don't come this way! And somehow, <laughs> Wesker has blood all over his face from being stabbed in the stomach. Eh, whatever. Cheap character models. Whatever. You I can't kill me. Because I'm just going to run away. I mean, it makes sense that we're able to kill this guy so easy right now. I mean, the guy was just born. I mean, it'd be like if... Dr. Frankenstein decided to kill his monster the day it was born. He'd just have to put a pillow over its face. It wouldn't fight back. Well, it would try to fight back, but it wouldn't have the physical strength to be able to do anything. I mean, it's just born. I love the... I didn't even notice, but people were pointing out, Oh, I love... I love the music during this fight. And you know what? It It is fantastic. This is Heroes music. If there was any Heroes mu- If there were ever was Heroes music. <laughs> it, it, it really is fantastic, though. All right. Do we get ya? Yeah, we got ya. Okay, cool. And eight shots to spare. One of them is going to a Chimera. Can't check the guy at all. We know you're coming back. Can't remember, do we need to get the key or whatnot off of you? No, okay, we just hit the control panel, that's right. And that frees Jill. Well, it would, but... It's like, there's a door lock switch. Will you unlock it? Yes, I will. Get out of here, check on Rebecca, go get Jill, save my game. I don't think I will, I missed any shots. I might have missed one. But again, we've got eight, seven shots to take out the tyrant when we wow. meet him later, so. Ha! It seems like this bulletproof jacket is pretty strong. <laughs> it's just I so see. weird, because her voice How sounds like a different person at first. He is sleeping with the ultimate failure. <laughs> Hurry up. I want to get out of here. I know what you're trying to go for, Chris. I know you're trying to go for sleeping with the fish. But of course, there's no water. <laughs> I mean, you're the only one who called him a failure, so <laughs> it doesn't really work. <laughs> Plus, he's not really an ultimate failure, as you'll see in a few seconds, Chris. Or as you've already seen before, but and you died too. Excuse me, Chris. What, Rebecca? <laughs> I saw a research file in this lab. It said that a great deal of research on the tyrant virus exists right here. We should blow this place up. Blow it to smithereens. We are already into it over our heads. Rebecca, can you do it? Yes, sir. I'll set off a triggering system for a bomb. Okay. Now we have a chance to escape. See you outside the house. You know, that's just a weird use of language, too. Usually when someone says, we're already in over our heads, you'd think, no, no, we're already in over our heads, let's just get out of here. But I guess it could work both ways, because, I mean, we're already in over our heads, we might as well do as much as we can. But at the same time, we're already in over our heads, let's not get in any more trouble. Uh, let's see. Alright, so we need ink ribbon, first of all. We need... Oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where? Oh, we're at the middle. <laughs> There's nothing ever under here. We need a mixed herb. Actually, clip. I'm going to check what we do have, because I know we're going straight to the boss battle. Uh, yeah, we're not taking a combat knife with us. We would die. 
Um, well, we'll take the mixed herbs with us. And one last save. Hopefully. You can save your progress with this. Will you use the ink ribbon? I will indeed, sir. Yes, checking memory cards. There we go. 16 saves. That is ridiculous. 16 saves for an entire game. <sighs> I mean, I know... What games are there that don't allow you saves? I know I was playing one just the other day. Shoot. <laughs> I think some of the Metal Gear games don't allow you saves, but only if you choose the hardest difficulty. So I'm wondering if, um... This is sort of the same. If you choose a harder difficulty, you won't be able to, uh... Oh god! I forgot about you! Or did I even meet you? Whatever. Because <laughs> I know I ran the other way. I don't remember that first Chimera, but I he just ran up right away, so I figure. Oh, wait, no, we want to go through here. Um, I'm figuring that he ran up the first time, too. God, I took damage! <laughs> That's not good! How much damage did I take? Well, we're at yellow. That's fine. Haha, <laughs> it says fine. Alright, and now for a somber moment before all goes to hell. I should check Jill's cell as well before we Jill. Sorry for get out of here. Chris. Again, it's just weird that she's not already on screen when he comes in. I knew I could trust you. But I want to know, man. I want to know no how she stay. got here. I want. I want to know. Jill's side of the story. That's why I need to do Jill's story. Because it doesn't make sense just... Oh, she disappeared and she showed up here. I guess you could say Wesker kidnapped her immediately. But it also doesn't make sense just to... Assume that either. Yeah, yeah, just stand out there with your hand on your hip for a second, Jill, while I check... What is in here? Oh god, there's a toilet. Jonathan Swift moment. Celia, Celia, Celia shits. Um, nothing important around here. Just the sheets that Jill slept in. Ho, ho, ho. Let's save that for later. No. Ew. Chris, you're disgusting. Um. All right, let's get out of here. But what I want to do is... Either I'll do a whole, you know, in a few months I might do it as a side LP thing, just show Jill's story, do extra long segments, and just power through it. I might do a live stream at some point of it, if I think that it calls for that. Um, or, what's probably going to happen is I'm going to do a sort of montage type thing. Oh, ha, ha. Beat ya. Ha, <laughs> ha. Not today. <laughs> I might do a... <laughs> I might do a sort of montage thing where, um... Oh, thank God. I just make... No! Don't go down the hall, Chris. That's the stupidest thing. It shot in the back. And you're... No, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> that pathfinding with the zombie. Are you just going to follow exactly where I went? <laughs> I can't believe I did that, though. Let's get going. Yes, let's. Let's get out of here. All right. Hey, we do have a, a slot for one more thing, so... Jill's going to put her hands on her hips. Um, eleven shots. Do I think I can make the tyrant with eleven shots? I'm gonna try, cause you know what? I don't think the bird is actually gonna do much damage to him at all. So, I'm putting all of my bet, 
on that cult python. And then there's nothing out here, right? Okay, I just wanted to make sure there were no items that I was missing, like health, which would be, would have been very useful. But no, you know, every 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 movie's got a montage. Even Rocky had a montage, so Jill should get a montage. So I might do just like a montage of different changes between the stories, because I'm I'm certain that there's a lot that's similar um, between Jill and Chris's story, because they take place in the same mansion. They have the same bad guy. They have the same zombies. So. But I mean, I know there's certain things that we didn't do, like we never found the code for that door to unlock it. We never found out how to get in that room behind the mirror, stuff like that. So there's definitely things that were that are missing. All right. Battery. 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 <laughs> uh, okay. Convenient that it doesn't take any leads or anything. Oh god, three minutes. I made it! I set off the triggering system to the bomb! Oh, great! Rebecca, Brad's up in the helicopter. Alright, so we've got three minutes to get out of here. Half a minute of cutscene. <laughs> I think it still counts down when we're going up the elevator, too. Oh, let's just walk over. Just saunter over. Yep. <laughs> that's so that's so cheap. Okay. Alright, now I'm gonna do something a little dumb. But I'm not going to set off the flare right away. Alright, we got the flare. Get the flare. Yeah, will you take the flare? I will take the flare. Can we check the box again for anything else? No. Alright. So before... We go all... Hey, Brad! Here's a flare. Go crazy. I'm going to actually check this building. Can we check this building? No, it's just... Okay. So there is just... No, get around the railing... Jesus, Chris. Or is this a door? Alright, two minutes, you know what? Whatever. We've we've wasted enough time on this. Uh, okay. So, fortunately, I think we'll have enough health. Use the flare. Here's hoping, though, that we have enough ammo. Because I think we went through... All of our magnum ammo last time while fighting the guy. God, Brad, you take so long. Why do we have to watch the cutscene and have the timer go down? Okay, so those are the soldered doors that lead to the elevator that goes down to the lab. Okay, I never saw those before in the cutscene. Well, I, I did see them, but I didn't pay attention. Oh, God. Okay, we're fine. Caution. Oh, no, 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 no! Ha! Ha! <laughs> Not today, monster! Not today, Zerg! <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. I love that. Oh! Oh! What? What? Will you take the rocket launcher? Oh my god, what? This is... Crazy! Okay, we're gonna get hit. Oh my god, we didn't get hit. This is crazy. Shoot! Oh my god! Oh my god, that is the best cutscene I've ever seen! Multiple camera angles, slow down! Excessive gore and explosions. That was fantastic. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I can't. That was so awesome. I don't care if this was from 14 years ago. That beats the pants off of any other boss battle ending. 
Oh, that was so cool. Oh, man. I want to do it again. <laughs> Just to use that rocket launcher and see those slow motion action shots. Oh, my God. We, le we got out of the mansion. We got out of the lab. We got out of the helicopter. Brad finally came, picked us up. There. Oh, my God. <laughs> Our action hero, Chris, and his lady, Jill, and the other lady, Rebecca, all in a day's work. <laughs> oh my god, this is perfect. This is like the end of every action y movie ever. This is beautiful. I, I can't. I can't express how much I love this. Oh, wow. Is that it? Is it over? Credits! There we go. Cast Chris Redfield, Jill Valentine, Barry Burton, Rebecca Chambers, Albert Wesker, and Joseph Frost. I. Oh my god, I can't- I- this- this was great. Thank you, Kamiya Hideki, Kato, Hiroki, Kadoi, Kazanori, Oda, Koji, Murata, Satoshi, for those last camera shots, that was amazing. Oh, thank you everybody else for this amazing game. Oh my god, thank you every single viewer. Because... This has been so much fun. Not just do, do, playing this game, but doing it blind. And thank each and every... I want to thank each and every one of you for being so cool about a blind LP. Because I, I've not had a single thing that was, like, like spoilerific. <laughs> um, like, there were people like, oh, you know, you can stack the ammo. You know, you can combine two herbs of the same type. But that, that, that helped. Because I was far enough along... That I should have I should have figured that out myself or read the manual. Uh, there are people like, oh, this enemy's called this. That that's that stuff's cool. But I mean, nobody was like, oh, go to this room. Otherwise, or I can't wait for you to fight Snakey again. That would have that would have been terrible. Oh my god, I can't. This took me how long? This took me three months to finish. <laughs> I couldn't have had it. I, I couldn't have wanted it any other way, though. This was amazing. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Tomozawa Makoto, Kaida Akari, Ueda Masami, for this amazing soundtrack. I didn't, I didn't, see, I didn't see who the writer was. I need to, I need, I would wish I could be like, thank you. Thank you, whoever wrote this. You, you nailed, you nailed this. For the, some of the funniest dialogue. Samuragoshi Mamoro, Mamuro, Mamuro, Mamoro, Biohazard Symphony Orchestra. This was amazing. Oh. I, I, this blew me away. <laughs> this game is, this game has shot up to one of my favorite games of all time. Just because it's almost the perfect blend of cheesiness. Um, and just bad controls that really lend to the feeling of survival horror, like actual survivor, survival horror. Um, like, obviously it's not as high up there on my list as Silent Hill 2. I think that's the best survival horror game of them all. But this certainly was very, very amazing. Again, it just had the perfect blend of humor and actual horror. That it was always just really fun to play. <sighs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss recording it, but I get to record it again. So <laughs> at some point, I'm not gonna be doing it right away. I'm not gonna be doing Resident Evil 2 right away. I know people have been like, "Oh man, it would be so cool if you did Resident Evil 2." I will do Resident Evil 2. This was so fun. I'm gonna be doing Resident Evil 2 blind. Thank you, Capcom. <laughs> with appropriate fanfare because this was a truly good game. But 
No, I, I don't want to do Resident Evil 2 blind right away because I don't want things to blend over. I don't want it to feel like this LP is just continued. Oh my god. This feels like the scroll before a Star Wars movie. That's how awesome it is. Like, that, those are always my favorite. Like, after a Star, a Star Wars movie. It's like, because the action never ends there. It's just a build-up afterwards. Total time... Don't pay attention to that. <laughs> oh my god. So, um... Because I could, you only have 16 saves. One of the things that happened was... I actually left... Uh, the game running for a few days. So, um... Yeah, don't pay attention to the total time. <laughs> That's just the final nail in the coffin. Oh. Because I, I, I did not use my saves wisely. Oh, well. Whatever. Doesn't matter to me. Oh. Let's see. Yeah, no, if you want to know how long it really took, just check the playlist length. I think you can check that as well. I can check that. Might overlay it. Is that it? What a tough guy! You've closed this case completely. Cool. I don't know if that's a good ending or not. Like, if they're, if they're mocking me for how long I took. Uh, but this was good. This was good. Oh! Now we can open that. You've got the special key. Find closet. I wonder what's in there. Huh. Oh, wait, is there more? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Save. I can save 17 times? <laughs> Main hall, first floor. Well. Interesting. Unless you play through a second time. I'm supposing I don't get to choose to use Jill though. No, it said it said Chris. That would be that would have been fun. Oh man. This was this was I I like, I I I know how much I've said it, but this was so fun. I don't I don't want to stop now. Like I wanna go right to Jill's story. <laughs> Oh, uh, maybe I will. Maybe I will. Is there anything else I want to say about this? Like, that's the that's the real question. Like, I've been... This is going to be about half an hour. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. That's perfectly fine. Is there anything else that I want to say about this? That's what I really have to think about. No, I think, I think this was, um... I, I'm not. I'm not just saying this was good because the game was good. Let's actually watch one of these because we didn't actually see it earlier. And let, I mean, it's a let's play. It's going through the whole game. Why not? Um. Oh, this just shows him finding the map. I'm glad I didn't see that. That was funny. How I didn't know that that was stairs that you could climb up. <laughs> No, this was this was really good. Um, I'm, I I really enjoyed doing a blind LP. I told myself I want to do a blind LP someday, and I'm really glad that I chose to do this for a blind LP. Um, because I don't think I would have had as much fun with another game as my first LP as I would have with this one. Just because... I, I, I really don't know. Um... <laughs> it's just me here sitting. I don't know. No, I think this was one of my best um, Let's Plays. Like, from a more critical standpoint. I know I don't do this often. I don't, like, analyze myself. But um, I've had, across the board, pretty much positive responses for this. And... I've really enjoyed even even listening to my own commentary. It was fresh. It wasn't 
my 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 diction's gotten a lot better. My vocabulary's gotten a lot better while recording myself, especially with this, just because I'm thinking on my feet because I don't know what's go going to be around the corner. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing another blind LP at some point. Like this was an experiment. This was an experiment to see if I could do a blind LP and that people would enjoy it. And my what I found is people enjoyed this immensely. And that's almost more fantastic. No, no, I can't say that. I was going to say it's that's almost more fantastic that I loved it so much. No, that people loved it as much as I loved it. Or at least it seems that way. Is fantastic. But the fact that I loved it is what's even better. Because I usually just really don't like my LPs. <laughs> now I wonder. I, I no, I wanna check. I wanna I wanna I wanna see what's happening with the Chris save. I wanna see if we do if we can go through the doors and whatnot. Let's go. <laughs> Might as well. You have once again entered the world of survival horror. Like what this is making me think is like everything must be unlocked. We've got all the weapons. Or maybe not. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Barry, where's Barry? Well, I'm sorry, but he's probably No. What is that? I'll go and check. Alone. Okay, Jill and I will stay in the hall in case of an emergency. That was an emergency. It was a bullet. <laughs> it was a gunshot. Chris? Take care. I really wish it would show the opening movie again, but oh well, beggars can't be choosers. Um, final thoughts on this? You've heard, been hearing my final thoughts for about 10 minutes. Special key, there we go. Okay, so it just starts us off with that. Um, there's no way we can get to that, <laughs> that mirror room for quite a while then. Um... Let's go see a zombie, you know? Well, final shot, let's go see a zombie. So anyway, I guess that's it. Like, I really don't want to stop because this is, like, that means the LP is over. And this has been, one, like, again, my favorite LP that I've ever done. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Resident Evil with Mio Xfu. Take it easy, guys. <laughs> oh my god, it's a zombie. Run, Chris, run. That's probably what you're supposed to do. It's like a whole new game. <laughs> Where I still can't walk straight. You know what? I'm actually gonna I'm gonna start curving again because I started using the analog stick. <laughs> oh no, Jill, Wesker, where have they gone? Wesker, Jill. <laughs> They're all gone. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you. But I can now that I've finished the LP, I can play you as much as I want. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's Jill's gun. You take the bur bur I can't trill my R's. The Beretta. Yes, I will. Oh my god, it is like a whole new game because I have no idea what I'm doing. It's locked. A carving of an armor.
That door is blue. Da ba dee ba da ba da ba da dee da ba da da ba dee da ba da. Hey, I know what we're supposed to get in here. That was in the previews. All right, map. It's the 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 map. Picture of a ch. A picture of a chubby woman. Chubby woman. Chubby woman. Chubby woman. A chubby woman. Chubby woman. All right. Map of the first floor acquired. <laughs> like, honestly, I don't know if I'm going to be leaving this in afterwards. Be I might, you know, because I... I'd... Like, hell if I care. Hmm. Seems like a zombie. I wonder if he's, o if he's dead. Hmm, I see a pool of blood around him. Oh, God, he's not dead. <laughs> I don't think there's any way to get that guy up without killing, without uh, walking into him though. Will you tank the tank the ink ribbon? Yes, I will. Our first ink ribbon. Oh God, I'm going through this like it's a traditional LP. <laughs> Why am I singing? I'm blue. A picture of steeps of steep scenery. <laughs> okay. It's locked. Carving of a sod. Of a sod. Picture of beautiful scenery. A picture of a beautiful woman. Nothing to bother. <laughs> Nothing unusual. It's not unusual to be loved by to be loved by any anyone. It's not unusual to be. Have fun with anyone. I don't remember the rest of this song. But it's not unusual for me to like the song. <laughs> now there's ink ribbons here, right? Right? Give me the ink ribbons. And nobody gets hurt. Alright, so we've already got four ink ribbons. Count them. One, two, three, four. Hmm, let's see. Da 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 do 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 ba do 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 Oh wait, no we should call we should ah oh, we should go back and kill that zombie because he's got the uh He's got the uh he's got clips. He's got clips It'll come in handy. Cause you know, you know, uh we need bullets. We need bullets to shoot zombies to get to get points. <laughs> I think one of the reasons I really loved this game, though, was just because it has the feeling of an arcade game. Like, that's what it all boils down to. Like, it, it's... A picture of a woman. <laughs> Can we slice open the picture and get what's behind it? Which I, which I know is behind it. A dusty-looking grandfather clock. Like, the saves really added to that. Like, the idea that you need quarters to put in to keep playing or something like that. Like, it's just fantastic. Alright, get out a pistol. Bang! 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 <sighs> Our first zombie, and we had to. We didn't even kill him with the knife this time. Oh, I'm an old guy. I'm gray like an old guy. Why do you keep shooting me? God, I didn't do anything to you. Alright, he's dead. Cool. We can get some ammo. See, I almost. Oh god, I forgot his head was off. He's Kenneth from the Stars Bravo team. Now he's become a mere shadow of his former self. Like, you don't say that about people that are dead. They're dead. You say that about people that are, like, depressed or something like that. Yes, I'll take the clip. Is that it? Nothing more? Nothing more? Nothing more. I 
keep thinking these are green herbs. Go around. This is actually a nice mansion once you get past all the zombies, you know? It's locked from inside, and this one's locked from... Yeah, carving of a sword. Babe with the power. The power... What power? The power of voodoo. Who do you do? Or however it goes. I bet there's something inside that vase this time. There's nothing inside. Of course there's not. I've checked that vase how many times? A picture of beautiful scenery. Beautiful. <laughs> I really need to stop playing this. I don't know. Maybe I'll make this uh an extra thing. <laughs> Just see me dicking around the mansion. No, I won't do that. Maybe. I don't know. I don't want to just discard this. I mean, this is... This is gold! This is... This is payday, you know? No, this isn't... This isn't bad. Alright, so... We've got ammo. We've got a gun. Where? What'll you do next? I'm going to... Hawaii! <laughs> Kawaii. <laughs> Not Hawaii. Kawaii. Uh, no, 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 no. We can't use that alone. Take this. It's dangerous to use that alone. Hey. 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 It's like our Minecraft series. Amanda hates it when I make the zombie sounds because she says I do them so well. Uh. <laughs> uh, that wasn't a really good one that I just did. Because I'm <laughs> I was halfway into a laugh. No, I got I gotta have her. Yeah, because I gotta be able to I gotta be able to freak her out. Without her on the other end of the line, there's just no point, man. It's just not fun. It's just not funny. Well, she'll probably watch this, and she'll be like, "Got it! God damn it! Why do you keep doing that?" And I'll be like, "Cause it's funny." <laughs> she'll be like, "Ah, I hate you." No, that would be my that would be another friend that would just be like, "I hate you." <laughs> and I'd be like, "I know." I know. And she'd be like, <laughs> Okay, zombie, die. Oh god, 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 oh god. First thing I want to do is get to Rebecca. I don't want to deal with you bozos. I'm getting pretty good at the inventory management, too. Now that I know how to take care of these zombies. Two, three, four. There we go. Kept forgetting that was four shots, not five. Okay, there we go. I knew you weren't dead. Oh, are you dead now? Oh, are you dead now? <laughs> I don't know what kind of voice that was. God, I want to open you. Remember, keypad, you don't know the pass number. I don't know where you get that pass number. Like, I'm guessing it's somewhere in the guardhouse, like the garden or something, because that's when we get the shotgun. And that's the only time we'd really want to use it, but... <sighs> Zombie! You gonna die? Two, three, four. Fall down, I stab you, you get up, I shoot you two to three more times. And then I do that tango with the guy that's in the other corner. All over again. One, two, three. Ow! You jerk. Spitting up on me. What do you think you are, an infant? Oh, God, you made me loot. You made me yank. 
<laughs> no, you made me use one too many bullets. And here we go, Rebecca Chambers. I'm surprised I remember her last name. What did you even do? Like, were you trying to mace a zombie that was coming in, first of all, because yes, that wouldn't work, and second of all, if you were using mace, why didn't that work on us? I just joined the Stars Bravo team last month. Well, I'm really sorry. Are you all right? Yes. I'm Chris Redfield from the Alpha team. Yes, my adoration of your cuteness made it all okay. Because the helicopter made a forced landing, I just ran into this house anyway, but I, uh... I see. There's nothing else you could have done anyway. It's good you're here. It's weird. The music in the background sounds like The Sims. <laughs> yes, sir. There you go. But it's strange. <laughs> I serviced the helicopter recently, but something went wrong with the engine. It was such a short flight. Oh, I bet you service the helicopter. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Dangly pots. Vitamins and serums. And a key. It's a key, it's a key, it's a key. Okay, first of all, save a game. You could save your progress with this. Yeah, yeah, come on. Alright, you know what? That's enough of that for now. I'm... I need to pack it all up, render this video, and get it to you guys for tomorrow. Will you take the mansion key? Yes, I will. And which one is this again? Is this the armor one? No, this is the sword one. Alright. Well, we're still not there yet. We're not back to that mirror room. Oh well. We'll find out what's back there later. If I do put this up, this has been Mio Fu with gratuitous stuff that doesn't need to be part of the Resident Evil LP. Uh, take it easy. 